I'm going to ask that you be seated, and as you're seated, we'll enter into a time of time of prayer. The passage this morning comes from 2 Chronicles chapter 30, verse 9. We ask that the Lord would use this text to steady our hearts and minds on Him this morning. Verse 9, For if you return to the Lord, your brothers and your children will find compassion with their captors and return to this land. For the Lord your God is gracious and merciful and will not turn away His face from you if you return to Him. I'm going to ask that you go before the Lord now and pray. I'm going to lead you in a few prayer prompts. The prayer prompts will guide you through a prayer of praise, a prayer of confession, and a prayer of thanksgiving. So now if you would bow before the Lord, and would you begin to praise God that He is a God who makes wonderful promises? Would you begin to pray now? Praise God that He is a perfect ruler who loves and cares for His people. Would you begin to confess to God the moments in which you ignore the promises of life He has made to you? Lastly, would you give thanks to God for the gift of grace that is known through His Son, Jesus Christ? Father in heaven, through the word preached, we see that it is by your will and your word that all of life, all of creation exists. Lord Jesus, it is by your life, death, and resurrection, by your faithful, enduring obedience that the Father redeems those who are His. And Holy Spirit, it is by your work that the hearts of men and women are turned toward the Father and made capable of glorifying Him. Lord, we praise you because your character, your attributes, turn the attention of all creation to the one worthy of glory. So Lord, we want to obey your word. We want to cast our cares on you asking of you even more. You tell us that we should pray for those in authority over us, and so we pray for our president as we have prayed for all of our presidents and future presidents. We pray that you would arrest the heart of Donald Trump and lead him to know of your promises and the role of government in protecting the things you love. Lord, we rise above the differences we have. And we pray that he will succeed in leading our country with wisdom and justice, that he will be a man who grows more in integrity and stands up for what is right for our nation. Lord, you are all powerful and we ask that you would grow in your church a willingness to call to repentance anything that is unjust and Antichrist. Lead us to be a people of truth, a people who understand our rights and responsibilities as citizens of God's kingdom, as members of the church of the resurrected and triumphant Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, the church has survived every false ideology, every system of the world, every oppressor, for we are the church alive with the gospel. And so we seek first the kingdom of God and our rallying cry forevermore is Jesus is Lord. And it is in his name we pray. Amen.